Hi, this is Warren from OutdoorBoiler.com, your outdoor boiler experts. If you're looking for insulated pecs, it's kind of boring. So I'll try to make it a little bit more interesting and tell you some of the things that you should be looking for. Uh, first, at OutdoorBoiler.com, you can find anything that relates to outdoor boilers and answers to any literally any question that you could have. We've helped more than 10,000 homeowners like you stay toasty, warm, and comfortable for decades. So we've got all the industry standards that we've prepared. We've got operations guides, checklists, uh, installation manuals. We do free design services for you there. Uh, and uh, just about any part or supply that you can imagine. Also, our water treatment is the best in the industry. Uh, we help people protect their boilers. We do free water testing so you know you're properly tested. Uh, check us out, OutdoorBoiler.com. Okay, today we're going to be talking about underground insulated pecs. There are four things that you need to be aware of. Okay, first, what not to do. Second, how to get the lowest heat loss. Third, how to save the most money. And fourth, how to avoid problems in the future. First, what not to do. Okay, the outer casing of your underground pipe must never be black. Black outer casing is actually drain tile. Drain tile is not manufactured to be waterproof. This outer casing needs to be waterproof because you need this to stay dry on the inside of your underground pipe forever. It needs to be forever waterproof. Drain tile is not waterproof. It's designed to draw water away from places. And so if there's pinhole leaks in it periodically, it doesn't matter. That's what you will have. I'm speaking from personal experience here because I figured, oh, you know, maybe I can save my customers some money. So about 15 years ago, I installed some at my house. And within a year and a half, by February of the second winter, there were, it was so full of water inside my underground pipe that I burned through my entire wood pile for the whole winter by the middle of February, okay? And had a nice green patch of grass between my house and my furnace because I was heating the ground and the ground will absorb an infinite amount of heat. Never buy black drain tile, okay? Only white, that's number one. Okay, now I'll answer the question, how to get the lowest heat loss. Over 12 years ago, we set out to design and build the best quality product in the industry and be able to offer it at a very competitive price. There's a lot of stuff out there that's really overpriced. So what we did is, what we created here is a product that gets you less than one degree of heat loss over a hundred foot run. And the test was done, the laboratory did it above the ground, you're going to bury it underground so it even be less actually in the field. A lot of times when we take measurements we can't even measure the heat loss. Sometimes you get a degree, sometimes you get zero uh, because our instrumentation isn't that sensitive. But when we do it, the lab found the testing to be less than one degree over a 100 foot run. Here's how we achieve that. Uh, got the proper thickness, outer casing, forever waterproof. Notice that it's white, okay? The proper thickness, not too thick so that it's too inflexible, but thick enough so that it's safe. Uh, the inside, we have a radiant barrier that's adhered to the, uh, to the insulation, proprietary insulation, not bubble wrap, okay? And in the last 12 years since we started making this, we sold over 1.2 million feet and we've had precisely zero failures ever. Made in America, best of all. Okay, now to answer the third question, how can you save the most money? Uh, the first answer to that is we already talked about don't use black drain tile. Uh, that's do-over pipe, we call it, because you'll end up having to do it over. Uh, the second thing is there are a lot of products out there that appear to be a higher quality because they cost a lot of money, 12, 14, 18 dollars a foot for some products out there that are urethane filled. Um, uh, the problem is those are actually a, an inferior quality product, but it's manufactured in Europe. So a lot of that cost is shipping because they got to ship it on barges and stuff coming from, uh, coming from Europe. So uh, don't think you're getting a better quality product just because it costs more. It's actually inferior quality. A lot of reports that we get from our, our dealers is that they're pulling that stuff out of the ground because it's failed and they're replacing it with our product. So get this to begin with and you won't ever have those problems. Um, 
The warranty on this product is the best in the industry. It's a, uh, it's a complete full replacement uh, warranty, and there's even a labor component on it as well. So that's the way to save the most money. High quality, low cost, wholesale prices, and uh, we can take care of you. Again, OutdoorBoiler.com. Okay, finally, answering the fourth question, how to avoid future problems, we're going to talk about three quick things. Number one, how deep should you bury your underground pipe? We get this question a lot, and it's a good question. Uh, the answer is two feet. We're putting the pipe underground just to get it out of the way. We're not putting it down to the frost line. We're not putting it down so that uh, we're, we're, we're trying to prevent heat loss. The pipe already is so well insulated, we don't need to go any deeper than is necessary. So we go down two feet deep because a lot of places have codes that require the electric line to be buried at least two feet deep. And, and so since you're going to put your electric line in the same trench as the underground pipe, uh, go down two feet. That's the standard that we, uh, that we recommend. Second, um, we always recommend that you use an end cap because <laughs> don't be like the guy who his pump, where he installed his pump at the back of his furnace, all right, he had a leaky fitting. The water just dripped down the PEX tubing into his underground pipe until the underground pipe was completely full. So you put this end cap on the end and any water that might come down will just shed off. So we recommend put another one on the inside of the house as well. So get a couple of these end caps. Uh, they don't cost very much. Finally, never splice underground. The people who splice their underground pipe underground, it's about a 100% failure ratio. There's some expansion and contraction that goes on with the pipe, the tubing, the PEX tubing, and uh, just over time, those fittings normally aren't made to handle that stress. Inside, they can handle the stress because there's bends and elbows, but underground, the splice is a straight splice, and those uh, fittings get stressed. So never splice underground. Always measure twice, cut once. Now, just a quick point. Yes, that's what the carpenters always say, but we will make you the exact length of piece pipe that you need. If you need 187 feet, we won't force you to buy 200 feet. However, we recommend that you measure from the back of your furnace to the wall where you're going to go into the building and then add 10 feet to that length because you're going to need to make the sweep up from underground into the back of your furnace. Don't cut the pipe off at the ground level. It's got to come up into the back of the furnace. And also at the house, you're going to come through the wall. So you need a few feet there, and you'll need at least seven feet in the back of the furnace. So we recommend measure the distance, then add 10 feet to that, and, uh, and that should be plenty to accommodate what you need. Okay, now you know everything you need to know about outdoor boiler, underground insulated pecs. Hopefully we've made this a little bit more interesting for you and uh, a little bit enjoyable. So uh, let us know whatever we can do for you. Uh, give us a call at the number on the screen or reach out to us at OutdoorBoiler.com. Also, you should know that as a pipe customer, if you get your pipe from us, you're eligible for free design services. Designing the outdoor boiler installation is a very important thing. We'll provide customized drawings and set it up for you completely so that your underground pipe installation, or your entire outdoor boiler installation is done properly. Uh, there's two very important things to think about there. Not spending too much money on the parts and supplies is very important, and we're all about saving money uh, at OutdoorBoiler.com. But also you want to have a system that's set up so that it provides you the proper amount of heat uh, for decades. Uh, so let us know what we can do for you. Uh, our goal is to help you stay toasty, warm, and comfortable for decades. So we look forward to hearing from you.